Investigation of the Metro Police shooting of Breonna Taylor, Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron said last week in a meeting with Taylor's family that he's still waiting for the results of the ballistics tests being analyzed by the FBI. That testing would involve the weapons and the bullets fired that night. But photographs taken by Louisville Attorney Sam Aguiar, attorney for Taylor's family, also tell a story that began at exactly 1243 a.m. Friday, March 13th. The clock on the wall inside Breonna Taylor's apartment has a bullet hole in it. Photos taken by the attorneys for Taylor's mother after the police raid show pots and pans in the kitchen were hit by gunfire. A hole in this yellow one, this blue pot dented. The bullets pierced a box of Pop-Tarts in the kitchen, opening a package of them. And a box of oatmeal was also struck and opened too. The hail of gunfire shredded curtains. The walls of the apartment are marked by each hole. Here's 1B and 2B. The pictures show a chair was grazed by a bullet, and there's a clear hole seen through a plastic curtain shade. Gunfire peeled off parts of the drywall and broke away sections of the metal wall. Each bullet that struck a wall or item is measured for size. Detective John Mattingly said afterwards in a recorded interview that he fired a total of six rounds. Miles Cosgrove also fired shots from inside the apartment. Brett Hankinson blindly fired 10 rounds from outside through the patio door, according to his termination letter from the chief. The attorneys say more than 20 shots were fired in the apartment, with bullets also hitting neighboring apartments, nearly missing a five-year-old child and a pregnant mother. The photo evidence of a violent and deadly night. And in June, the attorney for Officer Brett Hankinson called his firing by the mayor and the chief a cowardly political act. He said Hankinson did not fire blindly, but instead acted in quick response to gunfire directed at himself and the other officers. The attorney said if ballistics tests supported that any of Hankinson's rounds had hit Taylor, that fact would have been included in the allegations against him.